go. Oh, it looks looks turned out like really really good. Really well. We captured everything we needed. Like I said, it was just the lips and part of the nose. It looks like it's a good cast. Actually turned out really well. Luckily, I did catch that uh, that propoxy while it was still setting up. Um, because if I didn't, then we would have to redo a, uh, a whole new alginate and build up on the propoxy. But so far, it looks it looks good. I mean, we won't know until we start cutting here. But I'm gonna go in there and start cutting it and check the thickness and see if see if we're in the ballpark of what he's looking for. So I'm cutting here in the corners of the mouth to check the thickness where I put those new standoffs. And I'm cutting in the, in the middle of the lower lip. We really didn't do too much in the lower lip. It was just the, the goal in the lower lip was just to clean up that, that cutting edge. That we did. And I'm going to cut the most important part here is the new thickness of this upper lip. Is that in Bud's video, I think that was the part that was really kind of on the thick side with the upper lip. I have everything cut. That looks like a good thickness to me on the lower lip. And in, in Bud's video, he was looking for more of a standoff area right here for his paddles, which it's hard to see because it's gray on gray, but if you look real closely right here, that is exactly where that propoxy is. So we hit the mark on that. The lower lip, like I said, the goal was not to really change the thickness. It was more to clean up that, that cutting edge and uh, it looks a lot cleaner than it was before. This is the corner of the lip. Looking closely here, like I said, it's gray on gray. It's hard to see, but real closely here, you can see that the propoxy is here. That's where his paddle is going to be. So you got the, the new, new propoxy here and the new propoxy here, exactly where he needs that. Now, we'll see how our upper lip is. It's hard to see on here, but as I can see in the sheen, this is this has a little bit more porous. I can see the little bit of a lap line where we did our alginate, or where we did our propoxy buildup right here, and we have eliminated that thick. Before it was like this thick. That was the thickness of the of the lip before, but we added our propoxy, and now we have a nice. Looks like almost like a quarter inch thickness, just like the rest of the skin, and that's exactly what Bud wanted. So far, so good. I ripped the algae a little bit on this coat a little bit. Yep, same thing. Looks good. You can see that there's the propoxy line, the build up right there. And there's the new thickness, which is about a quarter inch, which is exactly what he wanted. Definitely eliminated that thick lip. It is a little rough though. I am gonna go in and sand it. We have eliminated a lot of that thickness, but you can see here it's, uh, it's rough when I did that propoxy squish with the uh, with the mold. So I am gonna go in, I'm gonna sand it up for Bud. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot thinner, but it also is rough. So I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna sand it.
it was good. It was good. I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna I'm actually gonna take my Dremel and smooth that out quite a bit and then go in and just do like a, a fine sand with the sandpaper. 